the Skoda Krik had its world premiere in Sweden yesterday. Here are the compact SUV's images from the event, courtesy autoforum.cz. The Skoda Krik is the successor to the Skoda Yeti that was introduced in 2009. With a body that is 4,382 mm long, 1,841 mm wide and 1,605 mm tall, the Kirk is 60 mm longer, 48 mm wider and 86 mm lower than the model it replaces. It has a wheelbase of 2,638 mm. FWD slash 2630 millimeters, AWD. There's a maximum load space of 1630 in the SUV, which the buyers can increase to 1810 liters by availing a grade equipped with the Vario Flex system that consists of three separate and individually adjustable and removable seats. The Skoda Krik range consists of two Petrolin 3 diesel models. 85 kilowatts, 115 PS, 1.0 liter TSI and 110 kilowatts, 150 PS, 1.5 liter TSI are the available petrol engines, both paired to either a 6-speed manual transmission or the 7-speed DSG transmission. Then there are the 85 kilowatts, 115 PS, 1.6 liter TDI and 110 kilowatts, 150 PS, 2.0 liter TDI diesel engines, also available with 6 speed manual and the 7 speed DSG transmission choices. The range topping model is powered by a 140 kilowatts, 190 PS. 2.0-liter TDI diesel engine that sends power the wheels via the 7-speed DSG transmission. This model does get an all-wheel drive system. The Skoda Kirk is the first Skoda equipped with a fully digital instrument panel in the Czech brand. The driver can select from classic, digital, info profile and reduced layouts for this unit. Other features worth taking a note of are full LED headlights. LED fog lights, 19-inch alloy wheels, LED tail lights and brake lights, 9.2-inch Columbus infotainment system with 64 GB storage, navigation, DVD slash CD drive and gesture control and Skoda phone box for wireless charging and enhanced cellular connectivity. A slew of advanced safety and driver assistance features are also offered in the seat because mechanical cousin, including adaptive cruise control, blind spot detect, and rear traffic alert, city emergency brake with predictive pedestrian protection, lane assist, driver alert, and traffic sign recognition. Skoda Krik Digital Instrument Panel the Skoda Krik will go on sale in first markets in the second half of the year. Skoda has said that it sees the potential for a Skoda Krik RS because its customers are demanding RS SUVs, but a final decision on that is pending. Besides this souped-up RS variant, which could sport a 300 PS 2.0-liter turbocharged petrol engine as expected in the Citka Cupra. A plug-in hybrid variant also is under consideration. These developments were revealed to the Czech publication by Christian Strub, member of the Board of Management for Technical Development, Skoda Auto. Reports on the Indian web today claim that the Crick is India-bound. For more updates subscribe MotoGuru.